Nepal is an extraordinary country with an amazing range of natural, cultural and human beauty. However, especially in Nepal's wonderful remote mountain areas, many people still suffer from lack of food, education and health care. Babies are born in cow sheds. Mothers have a high risk of infection. Being born as a girl or a disabled person makes you a second-class human, with no hope of following your own dream. This is the reason why, 10 years ago, we, a small group of Nepali and Austrian friends, started to help needy communities to improve their lives in the most remote areas of the world, focusing on health, education and reducing poverty. Today, there are 12 people in Nepal working for our organization, Chaya. Our goal is to help quickly while remaining respectful and empowering the local people. To ensure donations arrive where they are really needed, we run below 5% overhead costs compared with other organizations who use 35 to 65%. heading to LAR, uh, LAR Hell Post, uh, for one year. Uh, so we are excited very much. <laughs> and the girls are also... Once or twice a year, we need to transport vaccines and medicines to our most remote health posts. Of course, helicopters are extremely expensive, but we can't avoid them, simply because there is no road access. เอ่อโยนทางไล่ <laughs> Hamrushasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasas
In a Latin Tana, Pizang Yamu do me, Narazu Tangui, the Jula Pizang Yamu Jesi Semju, the Yotan Koi, so Manga Yamu Yamu Nims, Ningba, the Chibu, Sidang Mumasa, I mean, Samedi, and Tanga Zung Tangui, the Tana Pizang Yamu do me, then Our three permanent health posts and countless health camps provide free health service to 25 remote mountain villages and more than 7,000 patients. So, in our villages, there is a lot of people who speak Tiberian dialect, and that's why we also chose our name, because Chaya is Tiberian and simply means, let's do it. <laughs> I'm working here in Sri Buddha Primary School as an English and sports teacher since April 2017. Before, the level of English is not very good. Since I joined this school, I started using different kinds of methods like modern methods, using different kinds of objects, showing charts and drawing pictures, and so on to increase the level of English. As we have started teaching sports here, the physical activities and attendance of the kids are increasing and girls are also coming to school regularly. I was born in the year of 2008, and I was born in the year of 2008. जबकि यस विद्यालयमा चाहिँ होस्टेल सञ्चालन हुनु भन्दा पूर्व यहाँ रहेका चाहिँ ससाना बालबच्चाहरु जुन टाडा जस्तो इन्डिया इन्डिया लागेको छ इन्डियाको विभिन्न चाहिँ विभिन्न ठाउँमा तर नेपालको पनि हरेक ठाउँमा चाहिँ यहाँका बालबच्चाहरुले चाहिँ यहाँका अभिभावकहरुले चाहिँ त्यहाँ पुर्याउन पर्थ्यो भने सायदमा दुई सागरे गरे चाहिँ यहाँ अहिले होस्टेल सञ्चालन हुन पाइरहेको छ जसले गर्दाखेरि चाहिँ यहाँका गरिबी र चाहिँ to date, Chaya has rebuilt 11 school and greatly enhanced the future of more than 2,000 children with our education programs, especially for disabled boys and girls. We involve local communities in every activities of our project. Therefore, they feel connected to it and responsible in the future. For building, we use mainly local material. So, the addition of our amazing earth brick machine means we can produce locally now. So, we are reducing at once the transportation, the material and the emissions and also strengthen our communities. When I came to the Kailali school the first time, I was really shocked. Shocked because of the bad situation of life for the disabled children. They were malnourished, dirty, and had lice. So we had to improve the situation for them. Uh, we paid a caretaker, established new bathrooms and toilets, specially made for disabled children, and we wanted to build a permaculture garden. I think we've been at this three weeks now, and basically we've made a hole in the jungle. This is, was truly a jungle. And with tractors and lots and lots of labor, particularly from the Nepalis, we've pushed the jungle back and now we have a permaculture garden. Bye. 
Die Sonne kommt von dort, das soll das Licht nicht aufwärmen. The children only got uh, dal two times a day. That's lentils and rice. And there, in this food, there's not enough vitamins and proteins. So we wanted to establish the permaculture garden to provide uh, lots of fresh vegetables, salads, herbs, and potatoes. We also planted about 40 fruit trees and banana palms to get the vitam vitamins for the children. The children are small, some are malnourished, and they need to have um, five small meals a day. Their bodies are so small they have no uh, reservoir of energy, of fluids. Uh, so just stopping and drinking water, getting bananas during the day makes all the difference in the world uh, to their health and to their attention in the classroom. Disabled children in Nepal are mostly discriminated because people think it's a matter of bad karma. They feel ashamed for the children, so they are not really integrated into society in Nepal. We also want to teach the children how to seed, how to raise the plants and harvest them. They should get more independent and maybe it's a job opportunity for them. In future, we want to establish hand stables and a shelter for a cow. We want to improve the children's food with proteins. Lives can be changed and improved every day and only your support and donation makes this possible. So, join the Chaya family now and let these kids dream again. Hi, Hi, Hi. Uh, how are you? Good, how are you?